Uh, it's your boy Hyperhound, man. Mr. A Squared, man. One six of the Bourbon Brother, uh, artist, engineer, videographer, man. You watching the debut? Let's do it. Hyperhound, okay. Uh, originally was Mike Dog. That's what the big homie E Dog used to call me. You know what I'm saying? And he ended up doing some incarceration time. He ended up incarcerated for like 19 years. Through them years, I was evolving and developing, you know what I'm saying? And they used to switch me and start calling me Mike Hyper. Well, Mike Hype, so I kind of infused both of them. Hyper High and had a ring to it. You know what I'm saying? rocking with it, Mr. A Squad, man. What inspired me to become multifaceted in music? Um, I would say, like I said, I come from the, the Master P days, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, we popping out the trunk. You know what I'm saying? City to city, state to state. You know what I'm saying? So, so, and a lot of resources we didn't have. So when I was able to get these resources, I ain't ready to quit rap, you know what I'm saying? So I would've got the resources myself and, and, and now I utilize myself. Ugh. I wrote my first rhyme at nine years old. I ain't gonna put my real age out there. But I got a little over 20 years with this music, man. <laughs> Artists that in, influenced my music, yeah, I got to say Twister, uh, T.I., mm. Tupac, uh, and now my, my new favorite rapper, Zero the Crook, you know what I'm saying? Mo City Done. <laughs> what artists in the city that inspires me? Hey, I get inspiration from all these guys, man, from, from the Rizzo's to the Fargo's. You know, Fargo, that's my little brother. He won six of the, of the Bourbon Brothers. Uh, uh, Woldies, the, the, the Mr. Scott's, the, 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 the Block Downs. Uh, I get the guy, the Deuce, the, the unmentioned guy, Deuce. Um, who are who are missing? Uh, Young Chino, uh, 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 Black Canvas, the boy. He a poet, man. Uh, who else? I, who am missing? Who am missing? I don't want to leave nobody out. If I leave somebody out, blame it on my head and on my heart, man. You know I love all y'all, man. But Damos, um, man, all these guys around here that coming up. The new, it's a new cat coming up, man. T New out of Hollandale. I rock with him. Uh, it's a few guys around here, man. That, that, that's really kicking up, making up some noise, man. Lil' Nine, man. Yeah, I mean, know his folks from the neighborhood, man. I've been running with his uncle for years. <laughs> Old Cadillac. Yo, uh, how did I get in the mode to create my creative process in, 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 in doing videography? Well, if I'm finna do a music video for an artist, I would ask that artist to send me the record before we even, uh, even talk about shooting. I'm gonna listen to the record several times, several times, and I'm gonna pinpoint it's something I learned from YC Imaging. If, if, you videography guy, know anything about him. Something I learned from him. Uh, I make notes of certain things the artists say. You know what I'm saying? And I, I try to bring bring what he's saying to life in the visual first. And then when I get in the edit, in the edit space, in, pro, in, in pro, post production, I just I just run wild with it, man. I go off a of feeling. I always edit to the beat. <laughs> edit to the beat, man. It, it makes it look a whole lot more cinematic, man. Uh, how do I compare me from then to now, like I said, I've been, I've been doing this since about 2017. Uh, yeah, I'm a whole lot better, man. Back then, I didn't know how to use a camera. And like I said, I went to full sale for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Learned what I learned from them, took tools from them. I take tools from Taco, uh, Macadocious, any of the guys that been doing it long to me, uh, Deuce, Fifth Boy, all those guys done taught me something about videography, man, that I can show the next person. So what advice would you give to the next video? Hey man, the advice I would give to an upcoming videographer in the city, such as such as Mike Jones, I would say, man, trust your vision, man. Trust your vision. Nobody see it like you see it. So, you know what I'm saying? Trust your vision, stay true to it, stand on it. <laughs> nah, my process for writing music, man, it's a vibe, man. Like me and the guys, we get in there, especially me and Mr. Scott, we get in there and get full of that bourbon. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a good feel for Woodford Reserve or, or What's my other junk, man? We like to drink, man. The, the make of Mark now, my other junk uh, that your god daddy put us out. Uncle John put us out. Oh, the, uh, ah, hey, we like bourbon, man. All different types, man. You know what I'm saying? He's going to come to me when the interview over with. But, uh, yeah, we, we vibe off the bourbon, man. We get lit and, and we run through the tracks. We pick a track and we go in on it, man. Like I said, I just pulled the mic up to me. If, if Scott and he gonna record me, Bills are gonna record me. Well, I record myself. It's like I said, I do a little engineering too. So I record myself. It's the most times that's what I'm gonna do to go and get it over with. 
because I don't write. So I'm going to catch an idea. I might think of two bars, drop them. I might think of half a rhyme. I'm going to drop it so I don't forget. You feel me? So but before I, I do that four or five times, the verse is done. You know what I'm saying? I'm, but when I come up with the hooks, I come up with the hooks all at one time. And then I just drop the whole hook. You know what I'm saying? Right then. Hey, you get out that crab in the barrel mentality. That's the only thing I know that's going to make the city grow as, as, a, as a whole community. Memphis had that crab in the barrel mentality at one point. But now you see them guys getting money. And they getting money with other cities. You know what I'm saying? Even guys you thought wouldn't even work together. Like I just seen Pooh Shice and Bag on, on, on the video together. And now you know, you know what they see, yo, how they, how they rocking. You feel what I'm saying? So anything is possible, man. If, if we get together, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't no limits. You know what I'm saying? The sky ain't even a limit. You feel what I'm saying? If we get together, you know what I'm saying? All this old hating, hating the next man because he, he got a, a hundred more views than you, man. That ain't hitting on shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Pardon my friend. I'm getting emotional about that kind of shit. <laughs> Tell him, man. My future goal is to grow power print visuals. Uh, yeah, that's 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 my future goal is to grow power print visuals, man. And uh, we got the Ville Music Group. Uh, uh, Mr. Scott and myself, man. You know what I'm saying? We partners in that in that in that. In that the Bourbon Brothers dropped under the Via Music Group. You know what I'm saying? That's the second uh, project to come out under the Via Music Group. Scott got uh, two albums to drop first under there. But uh, yeah, we're going to grow both of those uh, labels and, and, and see how far it takes us, man. I was 1,900 miles from a place that I call home. I was walking out on faith, but I'm feeling it's almost gone. I done been through tough times and I'm knowing that they don't last. But I'm microwaving water to wash my clothes and my ass. Uh, pretty much what I'm saying in that verse here. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I took a trip to California and I met this guy T.Y. Exclusive. Shout out T.Y. Exclusive, man. He uh he produced alongside DJ Paul of 3C Mafia right now. Multi-platinum producer. But I met this guy in Cali and the guy was offering to do my whole album for the free man. He was he was stealing, he was stealing uh, studio time from other artists, man. He called me, he said, man, I got 30 off of this artist. I got 15 minutes off of this artist. I got you a total hour and a half. Can you get here? I had to get on the bus, travel two, two cities over, man. You know what I'm saying? From San Bernardino to Upland to go do this to record. But I, I go knock out two or three records and tell them to burn me some more beats. When I come back, I knock out two or three more. We, we did the whole album in like six sessions. You know what I'm saying? The album 45 minute tops each session. But uh, uh, I was out there down bad, man. Person I was staying with, man, letting the letting lights get cut off, water get cut off. Uh, we was in a bag, man. Like I said, I was microwaving water to wash my clothes and my ass. That's, that's a true story, man. You know what I'm saying? All, all, and, and I think I went through all of that working on my first CD. That's the last thing in those lyrics. I didn't get that far, but you know what I'm saying? That's a true story, man. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if you see it, you believe it, man. Don't stop till you achieve it, man. I know it sounds cliche, but it's real, man. You can find me uh, at Hyperhound of Power Print Visual on, on IG. Uh, I'm Hyperhound Power Print Visuals on Facebook, and I got my own solo page, Hyperhound, and my artist page on Facebook. Uh, my YouTube channel is Power Print Visuals. You, you'll know it's, the logo is so unique, you you can't miss it, man. You know what I'm saying? Just look for the pause with the camera, man. <laughs> hey, other than that, man, that's all I got, man. Hey, man, it's your boy Hyperhound, man. Allow me to leave my Power Print on your next visual.